It's Friday, Good Friday, March 29th. And from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. The Alabama Republican Party chairman downplays the election of a Democrat in what's been a reliable red district in the Huntsville area. Marilyn Lands claimed the House District 10 seat Tuesday, winning by a big margin of about 25 percent. Lands campaigned on abortion rights, and Democrats say the win illustrates voter backlash to extreme reproductive restrictions imposed by Republicans. But state GOP Chair John Wall says turnout for the special election was less than 15 percent of total voter population and that, quote, Democrats got lucky. He challenges the notion the election serves as a barometer for broader political trends. A new flight school could take off at Tuskegee University in the fall. Thanks to almost $7 million in federal funding, the new school will allow students to train on the field used by the famed Tuskegee Airmen. Pending approval from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, the flight school will offer a bachelor's degree in aviation science. The school says it will continue the tradition of excellence set by the Tuskegee Airmen, the first black flying unit in the U.S. military and one of the most highly decorated units in the Air Force. The university also hopes the program will help relieve the nation's worsening pilot shortage. And Alabama fans are celebrating a huge upset victory in the Sweet 16 round of the NCAA tournament. The Tide beat number one seed North Carolina last night, 89-87, to in a game that had eight ties and seven lead changes. The win allows Alabama to reach the Elite Eight of the tournament for only the second time in school history. Tide forward Grant Nelson got hot at just the right time, scoring 12 of Alabama's final 14 points and blocked North Carolina's final shot. Guard Mark Sears also made a huge contribution with 18 points, allowing him to claim Alabama's record for most points scored in a season. The Tide faced Clemson on Saturday for a berth in the Final Four. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org.